What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the worst tornado years. In fact, we are doing a top 10 list. What years had the most F3 tornadoes? F4 tornadoes? F5 tornadoes? What about the deadliest years on record? We will be answering all of those questions in today's video on the top 10 worst tornado years on record. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Okay, a couple disclaimers. We're only doing the past 100 years-ish, because that's all we have data for. I'm sure there were some insane tornado years in the 1300s that would put a lot of these years to shame. Maybe 1306 had 30 F5s, and see, we don't know about it, all right? Second disclaimer is we're mostly looking at EF3 plus. Obviously, we got better at detecting tornadoes in the latter half of the 20th century, but those are mostly F1s, F2s, F0s. We're just going to look at the strong, legit, powerful tornadoes. All tornadoes are legit. Don't take any tornado lightly. Just FYI. All right, let's get into it. Number 10, 1990. This specific year, many viewers of the channel might remember well, especially if you lived near Plainfield, Illinois, where on August 28th, 1990, an F5 took the lives of 29 people. There's actually very little footage of this tornado, which is surprising considering it took place at 3.28 in the afternoon. The Plainfield tornado hit Plainfield High School, where three had died, but it could have been a lot worse. Both the football team and the volleyball team barely made it into the hallway before the tornado completely destroyed the gym. The Plainfield tornado wasn't the only F5 from that year. Year, two other F5s struck central Kansas, just north of Wichita, on March 13th. Each of these tornadoes took the life of one person. There was also a major tornado outbreak that occurred on the Illinois-Indiana state line on June 2nd and 3rd. Overall, 1990 had 54 fatalities with 3 F5s, 12 F4s, and 42 F3s. Number 9, 1968. 1968 had four F5 tornadoes, hitting the cities of Willisburg to Galapolis, Ohio on April 23rd, Charles City, Iowa on May 15th, Old Wine to Maynard, Iowa on May 15th, and Tracy, Minnesota on June 13th. The most significant of these F5 tornadoes was the Charles City F5, where 13 people would lose their lives and 370 houses would be destroyed. This F5 was just a part of a larger tornado outbreak that stretched all the way down to Arkansas. In fact, the deadliest tornado from the outbreak was an F4 that struck the city of Jonesboro, Arkansas, where 36 would lose their lives. This was a pretty rough year for Arkansas, as another F4 tornado hit the town of Greenwood on April 19th, killing 13 people. There was also a rare F4 tornado that hit Germany on July 10th. Overall, 1968 saw 131 fatalities with 4 F5s, 9 F4s, and 41 F3s. Number 8, 1942. 1942 was not a great year. World War II was heating up in both Europe and the Pacific, and unfortunately, it was also a pretty bad year in terms of tornadic activity. Early in the year, on March 16th through 17th, a major tornado outbreak struck the states of Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, and Illinois. 149 people would lose their lives in this outbreak. There were six F4 tornadoes and even an F5 that struck the central part of Illinois, including the communities of Chillicothe and Lassen, where nine would lose their lives. That was just the beginning for 1942. The April 27th Prior Creek, Oklahoma F4 tornado killed 52 and caused some major damage that was pretty well documented for the time. I mean, just check out these insane damage photos on their main street. In addition to the 52 who lost their lives in this tornado, there were also 400 injuries and local churches had to transition into makeshift hospitals to tend to the wounded. Another F5 tornado crossed the western Kansas border into Nebraska, taking the lives of 15. And then on October 29th, 1942, Berryville, Arkansas was struck with an F4 tornado that killed 29 people. Overall, there was at least 392 fatalities with two F5s, 24 F4s, and 35 F3s. We're going back over 100 years for our number seven spot, 1908. 1908 had a major tornado outbreak from April 23rd to April 25th. This is often referred to as the 1908 Dixie outbreak. There were at least 30 confirmed tornadoes with five estimated F4 tornadoes. Overall, 324 people would lose their lives. And it's likely that the death toll was much higher as many African American deaths would not be included in the final fatality list. Another significant tornado from that year came on May 13th, where 49 would lose their lives as an F4 tornado tore through Gilliam and Blinger in Louisiana. There were two F5s that year, one that actually occurred at the same time as the Dixie outbreak, but might have been completely unrelated as it occurred near Pender, Nebraska way far away from Dixie Alley, with three fatalities. Another outbreak happened across the Kansas-Oklahoma border on June 6th with four F4s and an F5 that took the lives of 11 people. Overall, there were at least 400 fatalities with two F5s, 17 F4s, and 28 F3s. Number 6, 1957. 
1957 actually broke a record for the most active tornado season at that time. Perhaps the first tornado that comes to mind when 1957 is mentioned is the Fargo F5 on June 20th. This tornado took the lives of 10 people, six of them all being from the same family, the Munson family. It is also famous for being one of the first studied by Ted Fujita. The Fargo tornado is considered the most devastating in North Dakota history. One of the most significant outbreaks of 1957 occurred from May 19th through May 21st when multiple tornadoes tore through the Great Plains and Midwest regions, killing dozens of people and causing extensive damage to homes, businesses, and farmland. The deadliest of these tornadoes was an F5 that hit the small town of Ruskin Heights, Missouri, where 44 people would lose their lives. The Carolinas also got struck with an outbreak on April 8th. Also in 1957, the April 2nd Dallas F3 tornado occurred. During this F3 tornado, 10 people were killed and at least 200 were injured when the tornado struck a heavily populated section of Dallas-Fort Worth. Hundreds of people took pictures or videos of this F3 tornado as it moved just west of downtown Dallas. This tornado was highly visible for the majority of its path and was at the time the most observed and well-documented tornado in history. Lots of videos of this. I use videos of this tornado quite a bit on this channel. Pretty well-known event. Overall, 1957 saw over 200 fatalities with 3 F5s, 25 F4s, and 75 F3s. That is a lot of F3 tornadoes. Number 5. 1896. Now we're going way back to 1896. This is the oldest year on our list, and even at this point, the data is a bit rough, but it was still a significant year that is worth mentioning, as it featured a terrible sequence of tornadoes from mid-May all the way until June. Like literally the entire second half of May was insane. There were three F5 tornadoes that occurred during this sequence. The Red River Valley Texas F5, which occurred on May 15th, is likely one of the strongest F5s ever recorded. This tornado took the lives of 73 people and caused over 200 injuries. The town of Sherman saw the most extensive damage, and this is where the majority of victims would lose their lives. There were two other F5 tornadoes during May that year. The Seneca, Kansas slash Fall Cities, Nebraska F5 tornado, which occurred on May 17th, had 25 fatalities, and the Ortonville Thomas Oakwood, Michigan F5 tornado from May 25th had 47 fatalities. However, none of these F5s would be the most devastating of that year. The most tragic tornado event would come on May 27th from the St. Louis tornado, also known as the Great Cyclone. So I'll likely do an entire video on this eventually, so I'm not going to say too much about it, but this tornado event was really tragic, extremely insane. Over 255 people would lose their lives with over 1,000 injuries. Over 12,000 buildings were destroyed, and the tornado had long-term effects on the growth and evolution of the city. Overall, 1896 had at least 537 deaths, with 3 F5s, 8 F4s, and 28 F3s. What really sets 1896 apart from other years was just how insane the second half of May was in terms of tornadic activity. Tom Grazulis, who's like a tornado historian and meteorologist, stated that May 24th through May 28th may have been the most violent tornado week in U.S. history. Number four, 1965. Of course, the first event that comes to mind is the Palm Sunday tornado outbreak. There were over 55 confirmed tornadoes in just under 48 hours with 266 fatalities. This outbreak impacted five states, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. Indiana was hit the hardest with 137 people killed and 1,200 injured. There were no F5 tornadoes during this event, but there were several significant F4s. The Elkhart Dunlap had 36 fatalities, the Goshen Midway had 31 fatalities, the Kokomo Indiana F4 had 25 fatalities. There were also two other F4 tornadoes that claimed 44 lives in Michigan. At the time, this was the largest tornado outbreak since 1936. Apart from the outbreak, there was also an F5 that occurred on the Nebraska-South Dakota border on May 8th. Thankfully, there were no fatalities from this particular tornado. A day earlier, on May 7th, the northern suburbs of Minneapolis would see an F4 claim six lives. Overall, 1965 saw 335 fatalities with one F5, 32 F4s, which is a record year. No other year has more F4s in recorded history. And 73 F3s, which is also a huge number. Number three, 1953. 1953 had some of the most infamous and powerful and deadliest tornadoes ever recorded. First off, there were five F5s that year. 
5. Let's start off with the Waco F5 from May 11th, where 114 were killed as a monster tornado tore through the suburbs and downtown district of Waco, Texas. 196 factories and companies were completely destroyed by the tornado. 150 houses were also destroyed, and more than 2,000 cars had at least minor damage. It is currently tied as the deadliest tornado in Texas history, but it wasn't even the deadliest of 1953. That title goes to the Flint Beecher, Michigan F5 that occurred on June 8th. This tornado took the lives of 116 people, mostly in the suburb of Beecher. Many witnesses noted suction vortices that could be seen around the tornado's large funnel, which resembled black smoke. Before the Joplin, Missouri tornado from 2011, this was the most recent tornado to kill more than 100 people. There's also the December 5th Vicksburg, Mississippi F5 tornado that took the lives of 38 people. 937 structures were damaged or completely destroyed by the storm, and over 1,300 individuals lost their home. This tornado destroyed almost 12 blocks of the city's business center. There were also two other F5s that thankfully weren't nearly as deadly, one in Iowa that took one life, and one in North Dakota that took two. You would think that would be it for 1953. Unfortunately, no. There was also the infamous June 9th Worcester, Massachusetts F4 tornado. The Worcester F4 tornado claimed 96 lives. Truly a unique tornado event as it occurred in New England. Not a common place for tornadoes, especially violent ones. Overall, 1953 saw at least 528 fatalities from tornadoes with five F5s, 18 F4s, and 41 F3s. Number two, 2011. Most of us can easily remember just how devastating the 2011 tornado season was. Starting off early in the season, North Carolina was impacted by three EF3s on April 16th, claiming the lives of 20 people. And then on April 27th, the largest tornado outbreak in 40 years hit Dixie Alley. What is now known as the 2011 Super Outbreak this event had over 360 tornadoes that claimed 324 lives, with most of the destruction taking place in Mississippi and Alabama. The 360 tornadoes caused $10 billion worth of damage, making it the costliest tornado outbreak on record. Let's talk about some of the more significant tornadoes from that day. There was the Hackleburg Phil Campbell Tanner F5 tornado with 72 fatalities, the Smithville Mississippi F5 with 23 fatalities, the Tuscaloosa Birmingham Alabama EF4 with 64 fatalities, and the Lakeview Fife, Rainsville, Sylvania, Eider, Alabama EF5 with 25 fatalities. Overall, there were four EF5s and 11 EF4s, making it the second largest tornado outbreak in recorded history. But that was just the beginning of the season, as only a few weeks later, Joplin, Missouri was hit with the deadliest U.S. tornado since the 1950s. The Joplin EF5 occurred on May 22, 2011, and claimed the lives of 158 individuals. It was the most destructive tornado of all time, causing $3.37 billion worth of damage in 2023 dollars. Two days later, on May 24th, another EF5 claimed nine fatalities near El Reno, Oklahoma. This is one of the most forgotten about EF5s as it is often overshadowed by the Joplin tornado. Overall, 2011 saw 553 fatalities from six EF5s, 17 EF4s, and 59 EF3s. Finally, we have made it to number one, the worst year for tornadic activity. 1974. 1974 can really be summed up with one event, the 1974 super outbreak, the largest tornado outbreak in recorded history. The 1974 super outbreak had 148 confirmed tornadoes, with seven of them being F5s, 23 F4 tornadoes, and 34 F3 tornadoes. So that means that 1974 has the most F5 tornadoes on record. The outbreak saw 319 fatalities with $4.58 billion worth of damage done. The the most impacted states were Alabama, Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, Ohio, and Georgia. There was the DePaul Daisy Hill, Indiana F5 tornado with six fatalities, the infamous Xena, Ohio F5 tornado with 36 fatalities. Ted Fujita actually gave this tornado a preliminary F6 rating. There was the Monticello, Indiana F4 tornado with 18 fatalities, the Hanover Madison, Indiana F4 tornado with 11 fatalities, the Brandenburg, Kentucky F5 tornado with 31 fatalities, the Louisville, Kentucky F4 tornado with three fatalities. Notable for Dick Gilbert's amazing helicopter coverage, Tanner, Alabama was hit with two F5 tornadoes in the same day. 
and there was also the Gwynn, Alabama tornado with 28 fatalities. Now you could argue that 2011 was worse than 1974 as there were multiple events, it wasn't all from one single event. But check out this graph of the number of tornadoes in 1974 compared to all the other years. It's just completely off the scale. Overall, 1974 had 366 fatalities with 7 F5s, a record, 29 F4s, which is close to the record, but not quite as 1965 has the record, and 95 F3s, which is a record for F3s in a year. They say that you can expect a super outbreak like this every 40 years in the US, but I'm hoping we don't have one for a very long time. Well, there you have it. That was my list for the top 10 worst tornado years on record. It was hard to make this list. I mean, there were a lot of years that were kind of close to being in the top 10. So let me know what years come to mind when you think of tornadoes and what year you would put at number one. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video and subscribe. 100K is coming up.